guys, my gals, welcome back to Veracity TT, and today we are about to do a doll setup. So, when you in a doll and you using it as a remote with this button here, when you're using that feature inside of a DAW and you're only using this side, if you want to check out my other videos, I show you how to use the whole mixer. But we're gonna today we're gonna do it the out the box way so we can have scribble script control and stuff like that. But I'm gonna show you some features that I use over here on this side. You see how it says bank left and bank right? This is how I switch through tracks. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how to set that up. Really, really, really easy. Uh, so stay tuned and stay with me. First thing we're gonna do is set it up here. Then we're going to set it up inside of the DAW so you guys can see how I use FL Studio. I'm gonna do Studio One and I'm also gonna do Logic. And I'll leave a timeline below so you guys can skip through so you don't have to see all of that going on. But the first thing you wanna do, you see this? It's a little bitty view button right here. You wanna click that view button, okay? And when you click that view button, this screen comes up here. Once this screen comes up here, what you wanna do is look at your buttons over here. See these buttons? Let me get it clear there for you. Sorry about the dust. This thing picks up dust like crazy in this wooden studio. All right, so you got five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12, right? When you look at the scribble scripts here, this bottom is the buttons on down here, nine through 12, the bottom, where it says bank, bank, you see that? And this top up here is for five through six. So where it says notes, where it says note six to, uh, 16, you see that? That's the top buttons. So on here on the screen, I'm gonna show you how I do this. I go down, cause I like, you can set the color, see, change the colors, this knob here. Right there like that, that's the first knob. See, so we're gonna do something you guys can see. I'm gonna use yellow. All right, so you go back here, go to this second knob there. I wanna go down to nine. Now you see when I go to nine and it says remote here, this is what you wanna be on. You wanna go to remote because you're gonna be using this as the remote DAW feature, okay? So you wanna make sure you are remote. And also too, I'm on set C. See how this red is lit up? I use set C for this. A, A and B, I'm not sure how I got A and B. I don't even use those. Um, so I'm pretty sure some of you guys might be using this mixer in a live circumstance. So you can save those for that. But in the studio, I just like to use C because it's just an easier button to press all the way on the end with my right hand because I'm right-handed. So now let's get back to this screen. So like I say, I'm gonna put this on yellow. I'm going to button nine, click it. We're going to do remote and then these down here. So you see all of these for button nine. I want button nine to be left bank. So you click that, go back over here, button 10, make that over here to right bank and click that. So now you got your banks. Also, if you go here, do button 11. Let's go this to remote here go down and I want to make that a play button and then button 12 go down remote and I want to make that the stop button this is why this mixer is so cold you see it gives you so many controls that you can set up right here and these encoders they're called these encoders that's the first four little sorry up here the encoders those are these so you can use those for pan or whatever, whatever you want to set it to, it's there for you. But I don't use those. So I just like to have stop, play, and bank left and right. So like I say, I go to the second menu and I choose the button. The buttons are there. You got five through 12 there. Top five through eight is gonna be where it says, hold on, let me get that clear, yeah. So five through eight, you see how this number right here on the outside of the scribble script says five, six, seven, eight, you see that? And then you have nine, 10, 11, 12, you see that? And also how it says one, this is corresponding to whatever you set this for. All right, two, see that two, that's that two, that three, that's that three, you see that? So that's how you set those up. You just come in here, the encoder one through four, it's gonna be at the top there where it says program, where it says five through six, that's gonna be where it says note. 
And 9 through 12 is going to be where it says bank left and bank right. So first, we're going to do FL. Let's click here on setup. Once you go to setup, let's go over to remote. These are my FL uh, settings for remote. Make sure this is enabled. Card MIDI, Mac MCU, all of these up here, card MIDI. Don't need that one. Leave those out. Also, make sure this is turned on. So now I'm going to pull up FL and show you how to use the bank feature, like how I got it set up over here. Bank, bank, play, stop. Y'all, let's see what I do. All right. So let's pull up the X32 Edit app real quick. When you click this setup button here at the top left, go here to car on the uh, top right there, this tab, car right there. And then you have to be on 32 in, 32 out. When I first started this tutorial, I was on two in, two out. And when I came over here to FL and then I tried to do a bank left and right, it did not work. It, it glitched out the, the remote. But once I came back in here and changed this to 32 in, 32 out, then everything started working smoothly. So that's a big tip for you guys. Make sure you're on 32 in, 32 out in the settings of your X32 DAW. Okay. Here we are in FL Studio, right? So you can see that it is lined up exactly like my tracks are here. Take it like that. So you see it, look at the pattern. It goes like a swoop, right? Comes back up. So now this is when I would use this bank control here. Bow, now y'all see that? Now it's on to the where the guitar is and the, you see? And then this is how you keep going and using your bank control. See what I mean? That's what I use it for, to switch between my tracks real easy like this. Also, you can play and stop. And you can stop. <clears throat> so that's how I use it, just like that. So let's go and pull up Studio One and try that next. Then we'll do Logic, all right? First thing you want to do while we're here in Studio One is let's click add a device. We're going to go down to, well, this is what I created, but this is not the official way. The official way is to go down here to Mackie Control and you want to use, you want to use that first. All right, so you want to use that first option like that. It's like, okay. So that's how you set it up. So here we are in Studio One. You see how my first track says CPU left, and you can see kind of how it's matching inside the DAW there. If I just click over here, you can see it's banking left and right. Also, I can still play. And stop okay so here we are in logic pro so there's a couple of things in logic so first thing we want to do is click up here let's go down to MIDI then we're going to go over to control uh, control surfaces. Then we're going to go to setup. Once we in here, you see how it says no device. Click new, install. We're going to go to Mackie MCU Pro here. Click add. Uh, I don't want it gray. Let's make it blue. All right, so we got blue. Now what we want to do is X USB, X USB. Okay, so now when you look on here, you can see we got it, right? Wrong, because soon as you click the bank that I got set up right there, it will go over, but if you look on Logic at the blue bar, it skips two tracks. So if I press bank to go backwards, 
You see how I'm skipping the, those two tracks down there at the bottom? You see the blue bar down at the bottom switching over there? It's skipping tracks. So we'll, we'll have to do a different way in Logic. So let's push this button, view, and we're gonna come back to the X32 screen here. Make sure you're on set C. So remember how we assigned on track nine, remote, then bank? Let's do track five for channel instead of bank. So we're gonna go track fire, let's click remote, and let's make that channel left. And then we'll go down here to six, remote, and we're gonna make that channel right. And clearly now you can see that the channel is right here above bank. So I'm gonna try to move over per channel instead of doing bank and logic. So let me close this out here and there. And let's start from this track here. And let's see if I can go channels. So it does go over channels, but it stopped. It's still moving the whole banks of eight, but now it is. It's including the channels, but it's still going by eights. And it stopped at 16, so that's the limit in Logic. If you wanna know how to use all the tracks in Logic, Click this video link up here at the top and I'll be able to uh, teach you how to use all the tracks and not even deal with that. All right. So like, comment and subscribe if this helped you out. And I got more videos coming. I'm going to be posting a lot this week. So you definitely might want to sub. I'm going to be dropping gems all month. All right. Y'all take care.